Well, Tracy, normally we'd be in my kitchen, but we've headed south of the river to Jandicott. We're in the Atco Blue Flame Kitchen. Now, this is all about educating people with safe, effective, efficient use of natural gas. And it's primarily targeted at year five and six students. So it's a perfect environment for us to get cooking. <laughs> Indeed, I'm, I'm very impressed by the kitchen as well, state mm. of the art, and it's fantastic what they uh, do for the kids and allow them to be in here as well and get their hands a bit dirty, you know? You know that <laughs> thing of learning about food, where it comes from, and actually yes. how to use it. It's so important. So there's so many things we grow in the garden yes. that, that unless we're teaching our kids how to use it, we're missing out on an opportunity and they're missing out on great mm. healthy food like that's this. Right. Yes. So <laughs> I, I'm the big kid here that's not quite sure how to best use yes. kale. I absolutely love it. Again, it took me a while to get used to having it in my diet. And today I thought this one's great for the kids as well. Some kale chips, very easy to do. Okay. So <laughs> what I do, I'll take off the leaves. These big chunky stems just, are no good? No. Some people might like to use them, I don't. So I try to keep them quite big as well, like yeah. big leaves if you can. How I discovered kale chips, you know that you can buy them in packets and that sort of stuff. And yeah. then again, when I, when I discovered kale in the fresh food market and that sort of stuff, I thought, well, I'm sure I can make these at home quite easily. And it's very, it's very easy to do. It doesn't take long at all as well. That's enough for some kale chips. An interesting thing with kale, and it's probably this crinkly kale, but it has the ability to hold on to lots of moisture. So it can be quite sort of problematic. Makes it really good in a stir fry, but maybe not if you're baking it, is No, it? that's it. So what I'll do, I'm just grab some paper towel. Or you can use a tea towel as well, whatever, yep. but you know, whatever's easy. You just want to absorb that moisture That's out. it, that because otherwise you might steam it in the oven rather than get them all nice and crispy. So it's funny because I think kale's just starting to be a bit trendy these days. It mm. kind of just has taken off in the last few years. Yeah. I don't remember eating kale growing up well, as, as, a, as a kid. No, <laughs> no. in fact, um, as a young horticulturalist, it was used predominantly as an ornamental plant for its architectural shape. Yeah, so right. We would use it alongside flowering plants just to get those beautiful ah. colours and shapes in the, in the foliage. What I do after this, I'll just pop that over there, with the oil here. Yep, so extra virgin olive oil. Yes. Just, I just drizzle a little bit over the top. The next ingredient is just salt. All right, that's done. That's pretty much it. I was about to say, <laughs> if that's the you know, complexity of the dish, it doesn't get any easier. No, that's it? right. So what uh, we do next is pop it in the oven. All right, well, look, I will pop it into the Perfect. oven right now. Let's see how we go. Well, here's all your hard work. <laughs> Where did it go? I know. <laughs> they shrivel up a little bit, but um, I just kind of leave it sitting here for a bit. You can see they're already quite crispy, like you they're know, they're crisp, quite they're not you sticking can, yeah, to you the. You can hear the, the sound even on yeah. the tray, you know. So, so what's that over there, Trace? That's. <laughs> mm, you can just ask me. <laughs> it depends on how much salt you like. You can just judge it for yourself. Mm, that was perfect. That was a perfect mm. amount of salt. Oh, I think they're pretty That's good. That's good. And you can still taste that a little bit of bitterness in in the kale. If people who normally eat kale, you can still taste it there, mm. but it's not as strong or like too too com too confronting for people to eat. I would flavor. almost argue that the salt has brought the sugars out in mm. in that. Oh, there so, you go. so it's got a bit of bit of sweet yeah. in it. Actually, it's not really that bitter at all. You know, when when we're sort of setting up a, a meal and you've got yes. different, you want you know you want different textures. Yes. This would be a fantastic addition for that purpose. I must say, so um, I actually put these out when I have like a lamb stew or something like that. You can put it on the side of a plate with a lamb stew yeah. and a bit of pasta or a bit of rice. Um, it just has another bit of texture to it. So. But that was, that was like 10 minutes. You have nailed that challenge oh, okay. well and truly. That is fantastic. <laughs> well I done. I so. Enjoy. <laughs> That's delicious.